guys. So today we're going to be doing chili in the crock pot. It's a rainy day, why not? We got our onions, our green pepper, our garlic, our spices, all the canned stuff, and uh, and yeah, chili on a Thursday. So when we come back, we'll uh, chopping up some stuff, get the hamburger frying. Should be a good day. Okay, I've started the green pepper here, some garlic. Next we're gonna do the onion, and here's a little tip on making this easier. What you're gonna do is you're gonna slice this way. Just do about, depending on the set, this one's small, but you'll do probably about five, and then you're just gonna go Crisscross this way, like so. Turn it on its side, and then all you got to do is slice down, and you got nice little pieces of onion. Slip for the middle. Any pieces, because when you get to the bottom there, you're you're gonna need to chop just a little bit, but. There's the onion. You're gonna use, depending on the size, you just have small ones, you're gonna use two to three. And if you have just one big one, that'll be fine. So like that. And then we're gonna cut our celery. Use about uh, three to four stalks of it, or not stalks, uh, I think it's called ribs. And, and here's another tip for you guys, if you didn't know, that when your celery um, gets a little bit, when it's starting to go in a little bit limp, you just cut it and toss it in a container of butter come back to life. I think uh, roughly three um, three ribs of uh, celery is good. Here's the other one. I'll chop that, but I don't, you guys see I mean enough chopping. And over here we have a hamburger fry. Okay, and I will, uh, I'll finish doing this. And then uh, we'll wait for the hamburger to finish frying. We're going to drain it and then um, we'll come back and we'll put all of this together. Okay, before I take you guys to the next step, get in a bong toke. Uh, the only thing I've done is the hamburger finished frying. I didn't think you guys wanted to see me drain, you know, grease from it. Make sure you drain the grease because there's nothing worse than having a... Uh, a chili that's full of grease. And uh, I would like to say, I'm doing the bong toke, that um, if you put this on the morning, just put it on low if you're in the slow cooker. Um, because it's it only gets better with time like it's chilly if you don't have that much time either you could you can do it put everything that I'm gonna show you guys into a big pot do it on the stove um, but if you're gonna do it in the slow cooker 
you and you know it's already noon or something like that it's like a last minute thing or something you uh, just put it on high for four five six hours whatever I would say six you know let it, let all the flavors come together Okay, we'll be right back. I'm gonna finish this up, take you guys, get it all in there. Okay, we're back guys. So in our crock pots, we're gonna take a can of tomato juice. Get that in there. Now, I, this is the way I do it. You guys can do it whatever. If you want to use uh, just one can of these diced tomatoes, that's fine. I like to do one can of diced tomatoes and then one of the, the ones with the chili seasoning in it. it just adds more, tastes better. Remember when, you, when you're cooking, cook with love. Okay, so we'll get that in there. And we're gonna get our can in there. And uh, kind of give that a stir around just to get a. Now, also, I do depending. One of these is, is it just, add, it brings out more flavor. It just adds flavor, brings it out, whatever. It, it tastes good. Before we're gonna put this in, because we're gonna, we don't want the chili too liquidy, we're going to put in our ground beef. Our green pepper. Our celery. And, oops, uh, I should get a spoon. With the celery in that container too was, uh, garlic, your onion, okay, and then you're just going to give it a stir around just to, just to see how, you know, thick it is right now, and this one's, I would say we're going to, we're going to try about half a can, oh, before I do the half a can, these are your kidney beans, and if you're wondering why they're in a strainer, is because always make sure when you, whatever you're using kidney beans for, drain them. In the can, put them in the strainer, run them under your cold water, you're good to go. So, we'll get those in there too. Okay, and we're going to open the V8, and this is where we're gonna see how much V8 we're actually going to use. Um, I was gonna say with your diced tomatoes, if you prefer not to have the chili ones mixed in, then just use, uh, I would say two cans of this. So let's get this in there and we're just gonna, that's about half. Mix it all around and like I said, you don't want it like a, like a soup. You don't want it soupy, you just want it like a good, a good texture, maybe a little bit more. Okay, I use roughly mm, just a little bit under half a can of that. Okay, and then we're going to measure spoons. We're going to put in a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Cayenne, 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 whatever. Uh, we're going to put in my little, my little, my little sticks. Okay, you're gonna put in um, have to do half a teaspoon of pepper. You're going to put in, uh, you know. The, I'm not a big, I don't use salt, like I'm not a big salt person, so when it comes to salt, I just don't like salty foods, it's just, 
I do uh, about roughly half, maybe three quarter teaspoon of, of salt. Okay, and you're gonna do, let me see here, what am I missing? Uh, we're gonna do our, our chili. As soon as I do, um, I would do three or oh, three tablespoons of it. One, two, three tablespoons of that. You're going to do uh, one teaspoon of cumin. So we'll get that in there. You're gonna do um, half a teaspoon. I need these again, but I. Well, anyways, I put about half a teaspoon of sugar in mine. It doesn't make it sweet or anything. I uh, just kind of thicken it a bit. And that's everything. Give it a good stir. Um, and I want to. After I get this turned on, I want to bring up something to you guys. Okay, let's get our, our lid on. There. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to, usually what I do with mine, I'll put it on high for four, oops. Come on. Four hours. Oh, I did it again like like the last one. So you're gonna put it on high for four hours. And then for about maybe another two, you're gonna just switch it over to low for the two hours. Now, there's probably a lot of you guys out there like, like um, a hot chili. I make mine like a medium hottish. I don't like hotness, but people I cook for do. So, when I go to switch this over, after the four hours is done, when I switch it over to the two, there's plenty of different spices you can put in there. What I do is, if you're going to use the ghost powder, powder pepper, what you can in here, it's like a pinch. Do not try even like you know, a quarter teaspoon. It, it will, it literally will wreck the chili. And I know this because I did it once and it was literally too hot. Just like a pinch. Um, you could use that. And this over here is, this is ghost pepper flakes. This is what I like to use. I, this I find it's just overly hot. This has some heat, but it has a lot of heat actually, but not as much as that. So same thing, four hours comes up. You're gonna do just a little sprinkle in there. I'm gonna show you guys actually what, uh, how much I put in, which, and it makes, I've never had any complaints that it was like too hot or it was, you know, not enough. Like it was a very mild chili. Everybody says it's good, so uh, that's that. And all I'm gonna do now is just clean up this mess. And uh, I'll bring you guys back to do the, um, the, the ghost pepper flakes. Okay, while our um, chili is cooking, I've decided to try and make bread bowls. It's my first time doing this. If it turns out, great. If it doesn't, oh well. I have my flour in here. I'm putting my yeast in, salt, and then lastly, we're going to add our warm water. Um, and then I'll be back to show you guys 
what to do next. Any ladies or guys, if you're wearing rings, now's a good time to take them off. And I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, once you mix everything up, you should have a, a sticky ball of dough like this. Put it on a floured surface. And then you're gonna need this for roughly seven minutes. I'm gonna do this and then I'll come back and show you guys the next step. Now that you've kneaded your, your dough into a nice little ball, we're gonna take, I'm using olive oil, you can use vegetable oil. Put a little bit in there. Um, spread it around. Put your, your dough in there and you're gonna just rub it around so when it rises it's not sticking. Okay, we're gonna do that. Leave it there. Now you're gonna cover this and you're gonna put this somewhere warm so it rises. It takes roughly about an hour. I do this saran wrap and then I put uh, like a tea towel or any cloth big enough over it. So, kind of like, like that. And then we'll take this and we're gonna cover it. Put it somewhere warm. Let this rise about an hour and then we'll be back. Okay, so we're we're past the four hours on high. I've set it for the two hours on low. So we're gonna start that. Here is the ghost pepper flakes. We're gonna open this up. Give it a good stir. God bless me. Okay, so with with this you're just gonna want like a little a little wee bit I don't like let me see if I can get this in my like a pinch you really just need a pinch like you just that's all you need don't put any don't put any more than that I mean well you could but it's gonna be super hot and there's Charlie okay that's stirred. We're gonna leave that cook for another two hours and then uh, we'll test it out. So our dough has risen and I just pushed it down a bit and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this into fours like so and it's, after it's cut, we are going to get your cookie sheet ready. Parchment paper. And you're just going to take the dough like this and you're going to form it into a ball with the seam going under. Like so. And then you're just gonna roll it around and put it over here onto the cookie sheet. You'll do that for all of them. And you're just gonna roll it up. And then once you're done um, making them into their own little balls. You're gonna cover them again on the on the, uh, the cookie sheet or your baking sheet. Cover them for an hour. You're gonna let them rise again, and and I'll show you the next step. So 
just kind of get them the best nice ball anyways so you should this is what you should end up with we're going to cover these and then uh, let them sit for an hour and then I'll be back so the 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 dough has risen and we're just going to Put a little bit of flour on these, like it says to do. Okay. Um, I need to grab a sharp knife. So I should do so. We're just going to make little crosses and we're going to pop these in the oven for half an hour so open up the door this take you along there they go and uh, so they're done in half an hour we'll be able to put the chili will be done so we can put those in there and then have somebody test everything out and I think that person is going to be right there He's hungry as fuck. Well, he'll be the tester. I'll test it. Okay, so here is our bowl. Could it be? It's done, anyways. So you're gonna cut off the top like this. You use that on the side because you can use it for dipping. And you're just gonna scoop out the inside. These are really hot, as you can see. They just came out of the oven. Okay, and then once you get, just flip it over. Once you get out all your bread, okay, so what you're gonna end up is with that, like that. I'm gonna put that there. That's just your toast, and then you're gonna scoop um, some chili in. I'll show you guys what this is gonna look like. Okay, so hang on, I'm gonna pick this up. So that's what it looks like. And we're going to come over here to see Ed. And he can uh, tell you guys what, what you guys think, or what he thinks, <laughs> not you guys. I'll tell them what they think. Hey. It's hot. It's really fucking hot. It's not spicy hot, it's just hot on the chest. You need to fucking... You need some water to put the fire out. But yeah. 
Oh my fuck! It's really good. I'm supposed to do the top beat that too? Yeah, you could, you could, uh... I yeah. never, I never had a homemade bowl before. Well, today's your lucky day. <laughs> Good. Oh my fuck. I'm probably gonna have fucking blisters. But yeah, it's really good. Try to make some. Or whatever. But yeah. Okay. So. That's homemade chili in a homemade bread bowl. So I think that's everything. If you have any questions or you would like the recipe, um, find me on Facebook, Twitter, I'm on Instagram. So that's it. That's all. Bye.